Alrighty, we're back. It's been a while since I put some content out for you guys on YouTube. It's your boy Daryl, undefined424. Just took out the vowels. In case you guys keep thinking NDFND. I know, undefined. Anyways, I'm back with a two week haul because um, my son brought home the flu. <laughs> and yes, we had him tested just, just to be safe. Anyways, um, he got us sick, family sick, and um, yeah, I've been recovering, so that's why I took, like, last week off, didn't hit up any um, local comic shops, but uh, yeah, this goes back two weeks, starting from October 10th to now, actually my last stop was yesterday, um, felt a lot better this last week, um, but yeah, we're good, anyways, let's hit it. Ooh, it's a big pile, guys. Anyways, let's start with uh, my regular pulls from my regular LCS 75. Leeson cover. Cover A. Got to read the storyline. ASM 75. Anyways, um, Dark Ages 2. Yeah, this is an awesome read so far. Um, anyways, Eternals, Celestia. Yeah, forgive me if I keep looking that way. That's where the monitor screen is. Um, okay, so those are my regular pulls from October 10th, and I grabbed uh, this off his wall, zombie cover, and if you have been following me, I am trying to complete my Ultimate Spider-Man run, not necessarily the variants, but um, definitely the full run. Um, I'm already caught up to, I think, issue 14, so I need 1 to 13 now. Um, what else did we get? Uh, we got a three pack. Um, and I think, let's see if I can find how much I paid for that. Like you wouldn't, actually maybe you would believe, but let's see. Prelude to Lethal Protector. Uh, 25 bucks instead of three. So it's basically the six part conclusion here. I already have this, but it was in the pack anyways. Hey, we're resumed, I think. Yeah, it's recording. Anyways, uh, 374. And I think this is pretty coveted right now. 375. Look at that beautiful condition on that cover. Isn't that nice? Okay. All right. So that's one shop. Then I got one book from. Actually, no, I got five. I went. Uh, Bin diving. <laughs> um, Champions 25. I've actually been um, chasing the 2018 Battle Lines covers. Um, these Virgin covers, they've been like, they're. I just love the artwork. So I'm trying to collect all 28. I'm not sure how many I have right now, but I. I think you guys are gonna see six. I could be mistaken. I think I think I have six in this pile of this comic book haul pile. But uh, yeah, this is uh, Champions 25 from back in 2018. All right, let's put that down. 
And then I grabbed this mini series, United States of Captain America. Issues one to four at this shop. That's one. I'll tell you why in a bit when I get to that issue. Uh, issue two. Uh, we've got issue three here. Issue four. This is the reason. The first Filipino American Captain America. <laughs> so I picked up actually Thursday this week. This just this past Thursday, I picked up issue five because that concludes the series. Um, anyways, um, yeah. So grab this. I don't recall what number issue this is, but that's a beautiful cover of She-Hulk. Let's rip it open and see which issue it was. So it's Fantastic Four, issue three, Legacy 648, Battle Lines, cover by Jong Joo Kim. Look at that. So that was my only pickup at one shop out in the east end of Toronto. Beautiful cover. Beautiful cover. All right. Then we went to north. North of the city. Went back to issue 74. Got this variant cover. Yeah, it's actually I think I think I like this cover out of all the Legacy 875 covers. Yeah, I like this one the most. So this was one shop up north. Um, got two more from there. Got uh, Venom 200, Legacy 200. Gleason cover again. Look at that. And the third printing of Moon Knight number one. So that was another shot. Bear with me. This is a huge haul. Two weeks worth. Yes. Um, and this new shop uh, pretty close, actually right across from where I work, or my office, um, where I work. New shop opened up in the last couple of months, and I walked in and wanted to see what they had. Uh, Grab this, second printing of Dark Ages 1, the colored version. I actually like this too. But I like both. Nice to have different flavors in the in the collection. Nice. Um, grab some free comic book day comics from their leftovers. I think this was Wonder Woman Day. This was also Wonder Woman Day. Uh, grab the Vampirella, just for the sake of it, it's Halloween. And an Overstreet Guide. <laughs> just because. <laughs> that was one shop. And as I was going out, uh, they had Funko's, Funko Pops, and grab this, this little guy. Straight jacket, Michael. <laughs> cool or cool? Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that one. Um, actually, <laughs> my four-year-old, because I have it on on loop on Netflix, like nonstop. 
my son recognized Michael in the straight jacket right away. <laughs> that was that was the cutest thing. He's like, oh look, it's Michael. <laughs> Anyways. Alright. So this past Thursday, I think. Yeah, this past Thursday. Completed the story arc miniseries. I just have to read it now. <laughs> okay, so that being said, headed out to the West End uh, to our neighboring city, Mississauga. Saga for short. And grab this. The first Filipino American Captain America. Ariel Agbayani. She's the reason <laughs> she is the reason why I got this miniseries. <laughs> And I did some, so yeah, that was, um, was that yesterday? Friday, first day of the Toronto Comic-Con. So all their long boxes were pretty much fairly empty um, because they had taken their haul downtown Toronto um, for the show this weekend. Actually, today's the last day, I think. And I didn't want to go. But yeah, I did some long box diving grab this um, I know what issue this is this is from this is the battle lines 2018 uh, special covers uh, infinity wars issue 4 so that's that one yeah if you look at that like I mean how could you not want the entire cover run got that Got X-23, uh, not sure which issue this was. So this is another Battle Lines cover. Take a look. X-23 issue 5. Yoon Lee, cover art. This one is Avengers 9, Legacy 699, also part of the Battle Lines cover run, Loki. That good or great? And then I'm also uh, trying to complete a specific cover run of a story arc. I think um, some of you are familiar with it. It's called Days of Future Past. It's the Rodriguez cover run. That's X Factor 2. Storm cover. I got two of the uh, story arc from my Walmart my Walmart uh, three pack hauls. So I got two of those covers. And I got two more from this shop out in the West End. Colossus. I think this was issue 11, but which. Okay, so I hit the pause button accidentally. Now I gotta go back from here. I got X Men 11. Yeah. So trying to complete the run on that. Anyways. Uh, grabbed also these two. James Bond. Numeros. Issue 1. All right. And this I forgot to include in the first pile. 
Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider. Actually, one of my favorite spiders, Spider Man. Got that. Moon Knight 200, David Finch cover. But yeah, that was in the first pile. Ah. All right. So now my haul from yesterday. I spent like basically almost two hours in that shop. This is what I left with. This pile. Uh, almost twenty books. <laughs> Anyways, I had my usual pull lists. My pull books, Proud of Magneto, issue three. I'm going to dive right into that one. To be honest, I'm enjoying this story arc. Um, Eternals Forever, Odd Knock Cover, that's it. Got uh, Miles Morales 31. What looks like uh, Taskmaster. Taskmaster. <laughs> and yeah. Anyways. Okay. ASM 76. Chapter 2 of this story arc. Can't wait. Can't wait. All right. Then the reason why I spent so much time there is not just, you know, having conversations with other customers, um, made a new friend, basically. Um, went long box or bin diving, and I found. I'm not sure if it was a four-part mini series to begin with, because as a kid I had this book. Just the issue one, and um, if you go in that issue, if you go to the center page where the staples are, there's a tear in the middle of one of those pages. It was so sad. And then when I found this, I pulled this out of the bins, and you wouldn't believe, because I've rebagged them, obviously, you wouldn't believe the price on that. Three bucks, Canadian. Yeah, but you're all like, what? <laughs> so that's issue one, issue two, issue three, issue four. Now these bags make any old comic look good but these are in great condition nonetheless and um, so as I was flipping through the bins another uh, set two-pack set uh, caught my eye if you can read that once it focuses Infinity Crusade plus Warlock Chronicles both issue one and yes that is eight dollars Canadian Yeah, so here's the Warlock Chronicles, Adam Warlock. Could be Adam Warlock. Infinity Crusade, number one. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm a sucker for uh, foil covers. <laughs> a lot of foil covers in this haul. And then I also went through... The X-Men bin, found this, first printing. Connecting covers, I think that says 16 or 12, I don't remember. But it's uh, X-Men 1, four issues of connecting covers. So there's the first two, let's do that.
Here we go. Not cool. All right. So two weeks ago, set aside two sets. Uh, one set was this. First new Psylocke, Jim Lee Art. Set of three, 30 bucks. Yes, Canadian. Okay. And there we go. Mandarin has a new assassin. Psylocke is her name. That's Uncanny X-Men 256. So I'd set this aside two weeks ago so that I could pick it up. It was supposed to be last week, but I was sick. And I've rebagged them. Uh, 257. And 258. I like this cover. Sick. And the last set. So this is a forty dollar set. First print. These four. It's actually the ASM One Moment in Time story arc. So I got that. This was the only issue with pretty significant damage. I mean, like, not significant, but if I don't show it to you, you wouldn't know. And it's right, uh, yeah, right there, bottom corner. I'll just focus on one minute. Yeah, see that crunch in that corner? Yeah. Kind of disappointed, but that's okay. So that's ASM 638 to 641 and the negative space cover. Oh, color break. Ah, uh, just noticed that. No! <laughs> Anyways, that's my two-week haul. If you liked anything here, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. Um, yeah, it's your boy, Undefined, in the F&D. And thanks for watching my two-week haul. Actually, I also picked this up. Bye, everybody.